Hi guys and welcome to today's video. Now as you can probably tell by the title, we have a new arrival. This was not planned. I know a lot of people had asked me to get another type of hawk moth and I was like no, not after Harry I got too attached. But my parents were visiting my auntie and uncle down in the west country and their cat started playing with something in like the potato plants or something and it was playing with this. You may be able to see it. And my mum sent me a photo saying, can you identify this? Well, as soon as I saw it, I said, it's a hawk moth. It's some kind of hawk moth. And a quick Google search, and it's a privet hawk moth. So here he is, he's just hiding in this leaf litter. Now, a lot of people have asked me, are these native to the UK? Like when I released Harry, they were like, are they? I've never seen them before. And I think it's because with the elephant hawk moth, they're nocturnal. I'm not sure about the privet hawk moth they may be but they're massive you wonder how you don't see them maybe if you live more in the countryside you might see them a bit more and apparently these like obviously camouflage really really well unless you're a cat and then you find them it's actually quite amazing that he could have been tossed around by a cat and yet he's not even harmed and if I go near him to pick him up because I have tried he flinches and then turns over and oh my goodness it makes me jump but look at that I, I want to pick him up, but I'm gonna. I just know I'm gonna flinch. But if you want a size comparison, see him there. That's my hand. Like it's, he's massive. I keep saying he. We don't know what he is. I am open to name suggestions, so leave them in the comment section below. And what I do when I choose a name, I'll either post it on Instagram, or if you pupate and I film that, then I'll tell you in that video. But I really hope he pupates soon because I don't know if I have the best food for him. Apparently they will eat like privet plants and lilac plants. But what happened was because obviously I wasn't there when they were collecting all of this. They basically got all of the leaves around the surrounding area. So here's in like a potato plant. All of that sort of stuff and put it in here. By the size of him and all of his features he does look like he is going to uh, pupate soon. I really hope he does. Look at him. I am actually slightly worried he might bite me, which sounds really stupid, but look, if I touch him, okay, I'm going to flinch. I'm going to flinch, really. Oh, okay, maybe not. Oh, he doesn't mind. Oh, there you go, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> but yes, he is massive. Leave your name suggestions below. We will have to wait another year for him to hatch out, unfortunately, so what he'll do like harry he'll make a cocoon out of all these leaves so he'll be flat on the floor again and then he'll make a chrysalis in that cocoon where he'll stay for a year this is because in the wild what they do is they do this with leaf litters as you know around this time you may have noticed that some of the trees are dropping their leaves so when they pupate these will like live under the leaves until next spring or summer and so because of that, I will obviously keep his cage in a cooler area during autumn and winter because we don't want him to come out early. So what I did last year is I put him in a conservatory so he wasn't um, going to freeze, it wasn't frosty, although that wouldn't be too bad because they would be in the wild anyway. But it was just cool enough to make sure he was okay. Should we see if I can pick him up? I'm kind of scared, okay. Oh jeez. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Ow. Let's see if he's in focus. Like I will hold snakes, lizards, whatever. Give me a caterpillar this size. Ooh. It feels really weird. Oh my god, you can feel his teeth. Ooh. Okay. Wow. I'm going to put him back in his house. So, <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video. I look forward to going on this journey again with another hawk moth. Thanks for watching, guys, and goodbye.